Some economic trends seem so obvious you'd be nuts not to invest in them. Among the ones that everyone can see, for example, is that emerging markets, particularly China, have the momentum going into this year. Now, maybe you missed the 80% return on the Chinese market last year, but no matter, there's more where that came from. Maybe. Now, I'd be the first to admit that I don't have a crystal ball, but it does make me nervous when every investor agrees on something. If it's so clear to you that this is China's year, it's also clear to every money manager between Wall Street and Shanghai. You have to ask yourself, if these managers have been buying the stocks already, what makes you think they're still a bargain? And who really knows if the future is so golden? The Chinese recovery has been built on some truly gargantuan stimulus spending by the Chinese government. And there are some potentially nasty bubbles building, especially in real estate. In Shanghai, for example, prices for high-end housing were up 54% in the year through September. Chinese banking system has few checks and balances other than the government itself, which has been urging banks to lend. It would be ironic, but not unprecedented, if China were to stimulate itself into a banking crisis less than a year after wagging its finger at Western banking practices. None of this proves that China won't have a great year. And yes, you need to own some international stocks, for a number of good long-term reasons. But investment markets have a long record of confounding what everyone can see to be true. Best not to bet your future on China's just because everyone says it's smart. Being too clever is a far bigger risk than being too humble.